Ty Campbell with Tekken Racing and in this video we're going to cover voltage cutoff and how you should properly set it to protect your lipos from over discharging. Voltage cutoff can be tuned two different ways. One is on the ESC itself using the onboard LED indicator or what we like to call the quick tune and the programming buttons and we'll check out how to do that first. The second way is to plug into a hot wire and you can change the cell count on there as well as the per cell voltage cutoff that you wish to have. The default on all Tekken speed controls is 3.2 volts per cell. Now these do not have auto detection so you need to set the cell count manually. I would highly recommend checking this every time you go out and run just to make sure that nothing has changed. Like if you've done a hot wire update or a factory reset and you might have forgot to change the voltage cutoff. Let's check out how to adjust the voltage cutoff on an RX-8 Gen 3. Setting voltage cutoff on the quick tune is extremely easy. You press the mode button once to enter tune mode. We're going to press it six more times until it's lit up on VC. VC to enter. You can see right now four LEDs are lit up. It's four cell, five cell, six cell, one cell, two cell, three cell, back to four cell. Once this saves, the ESC will rearm and it'll go back to drive mode. So that's the easy way to set the cutoff. Now let's plug into a hot wire and check out how to set it on the hot wire and adjust the per cell values. Voltage cutoff is located on the setup tab in the hot wire and it is this first slider right here. The default is two cell on all of our speed controls. For the RX-8 Gen 3 in an 8 scale buggy, we want to set it to 4 cell. So this gives us a 4 cell cutoff at 3.2 volts per cell. So that means that our voltage cutoff is going to start triggering when the battery voltage gets down to 12.8. You can change this per cell default using this little box right here up to 35, 36, 37, 4, so it's customizable and it really allows you to protect your lipo cells. When I'm out just running on the track and doing lots and lots of laps and trying not to worry about hitting voltage cutoff, I like to set it up at 3.5. That way cutoff is far enough away from damaging the cells that I can just run it all the way until the car stops. So once we have our voltage cutoff set to where we like it, we'll go over here and hit apply settings to save them to the ESC.